Good evening. My name is Dr. Bhavya Gokani. I am an anterior segment surgeon with AZ Eye Care Hospitals. Uh, before we start the topic for today's championing uh, the causes, the solutions, and the final destination of how the climate crisis is supposed to be solved, uh, before I start, I want a little exercise from you guys. All of you, please stand up. Just help me out with this. Please stand up. Get up. Yeah. Now, uh, everybody to my left, please sit down. Everybody to my left, please sit down. You guys are almost 50% of the crowd which is supposed to be here. You guys are the 50% healthcare individuals who are absolutely not aware of what biomedical waste disposal is about. You guys are medical healthcare professionals who are absolutely not aware. And this is not a made up statistic. 50% of people who pass out are not aware of how to dispose of the wastes correctly. Ma'am is here in the audience, she would uh, absolutely support that notion. The first two rows sitting, uh, standing here, you guys please sit down. The first two rows only. Yeah. You guys are the 25% individuals who are from the healthcare setup. They are aware of what BMW is about, but they don't comply with it. Now the third row and the first two seats sit down. The third row and the first two seats, you can sit down. You can sit down as well. You are the 20% healthcare individuals who are aware, who follow, but they do not invest the increase in expenditure in the BMW updates. The two people who are the three people who are standing, ma'am and sir, both of you please sit down. Both of you are the four person who are BMW aware, who update themselves in the expenditure, but are not aware of carbon friendliness. Only 1% of the population sitting here, that is sir, is aware of the complete protocol that you follow in healthcare management. So here we are, good evening. And the talk today is Green Hospital Initiative. An initiative which complies with making these hospitals in such a way that they are friendly to the developments or the updates that are coming in according to the environmental damage or the carbon friendly statuses that are pertaining to the other fields. Like you have cars which get updated every year. You have the engines that get updated in same in the same way WHO World Health Organization has set up a proper directive has set up a proper uh, procedure that you undergo to make your hospital emission friendly to make your hospital carbon friendly. I try to throw some light into that of what this green hospital initiative is all about. Healthcare professionals sitting here, for those who are not in the healthcare, just imagine that there's a battlefield out there in the operation theater. There's a war which is waged every day. There's an open syringe which probably is contaminated by somebody who is HIV positive, by somebody who is probably HBSAG positive. There is a fluid which is termed as dangerous, which has been spilled. There is an emission of some sort of gas which is being used for pre-anesthetic medication, which probably is toxic and not friendly to the doctors out there. Inside your OR, inside your operating room, there is a small room which has a sterilization unit. Inside there is gamma radiation. That is a potent source of hazard. So every day, the healthcare professionals are encountering that setup in which there is a potential risk. Age old dictums where they used to not have houses beside hospitals. They used to say it's not good to live beside a hospital. In a true sense, yes, BMW, biomedical waste disposal, waste management is a reality. And we are talking about climate crisis. 10% of emissions, 10% of entire pollution comes from the healthcare society in India. And almost 30% of cuttable, that is reducible expenditure or the reducible emission in UK comes from the healthcare. 
so i feel that more than a requirement more than a proposed model it's the need of the time that is a green hospital initiative an interesting thing that i came when i was reading about this initiative a few papers that i read a few updates from different fields i'm an eye surgeon i'm an ophthalmic surgeon so a lot of our setup has something to do with micro chemicals has something to do with micro surgical equipments has something to do with uh, reusable uh, plastic ware has something to do with reusable syringes uh, the fluids the viscoat all these antibiotics the irrigating uh, solutions when taking care of other uh, uh, setups like orthopedics uh, general surgery gynax the entire amount the entire element is much in a larger proportion because they are macro surgeries so uh, when i was reading about this entire dogma i came across a very interesting downfall of uh, a, a very interesting controversial theory about how roman civilization had a downfall anybody from the audience ever read about some controversy why did the roman civilization have a downfall it's something related to this particular topic so there's a postulated hypothesis which says that the romans had lead pipes they were using lead pipes in day to day activity they were victims of slow lead poisoning which eventually caused dementia which eventually caused a lot of lead poisoning cascades and that is why the entire civilization got wiped out i'm not here to talk about ill effects of pollution i'm here to give solutions so few statistical updates that i also came across while i was reading about these uh, uh, updates there's a paper which has been produced by one of the biggest uh, cataract journals in the world i'll talk about ophthalmology in particular so cataract surgery is one of the leading surgeries or one of the most quantitative surgeries that we are doing so when we were reading about it we realized that india has had one of the most volume cataract surgeries so arvind eye care system versus an american system were com were compared so an interesting study was done that every one phaco surgery one phaco emulsification surgery that was done in america there was almost 132 kg of carbon emission which is almost equivalent to 500 kilometers of one car driving that is one phaco surgery and when this was done in terms of india where mass cases are done where we operate in quantities for example in the arvind eye care system that we are talking about one surgery has 6 kg of emission which is equivalent to 25 kilometers of driving a car the infection rate is same the success rate is same almost comparable so they started studying about how reusable items or using the same surgical set for different trolleys that compared the same paper is 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 pretty famous among star spears as well which i'll be sharing it with you guys when asked or when 1300 surgeons were given this question had to compare about how the statistical analysis was supposed to be done almost 93% surgeons believed that the current or waste is more 70 plus 8% believed that reusing the the the, the elements was better 90% of them did believe in global warming out of those 90% 45% were active about it 45% were not active about it and 10% were not aware of what global warming is all about 87% people believed that these societies were necessary and it's necessary that a pollution control board or a third party society or a board which is active in comparing or which is curating these things has to be there above them in the american uh, society a few years ago the research came out as 3 lakh dollars worth of jackets were unnecessarily made which were not related which were not required which were not at at the end of the day helpful so if you realize that these statistics are fine what i'm trying to say is initially there was an era when all of us were crazy behind the fact that infections are spreading we need to use you know one particular set for only one surgery etc etc the new era has started exploring that what if we use and reuse does not mean that you are giving it an un 
an infected you know reuse does not mean that you are giving it an infected thing it means that you are sterilizing it you are exposing it to proper autoclaving and then reusing the same equipments oics task force which is ophthalmic instruments cleaning and sterilization task force has been set up ngt which is national green tribunal is what regulates these greenhouse gases emissions from these hospitals and takes care of this you visit a hospital right from the parking to the ward to the operation theater a lot of these hospitals in india are already adapting these setups like a place where i come from as well we have adapted all the halogens have been replaced by leds the carbon emission of papers has been as sir rightly said the papers have been replaced by emrs the gadgets have been made electric friendly space and lighting that is lighting i'm sorry space and lighting have been started to be exploited open wards if you understand that the wards are in terrace they are covered but there is an ample amount of light supply and in the end they have realized that 78% of expenditure has been cut down and finally my favorite topic waste disposal years ago years ago they used to burn all the waste they used to go to a village site they used to go to an outskirt of the city they used to make a pot and they used to burn it and after that with the passage of time gamma radiators sterilization equipments gaseous sterilizations they have all come up and they are getting refined so i think this is all about the greenhouse initiative and the baby uh, footsteps of the green hospital initiative that i am talking about maybe all the hospitals could establish and could adapt to this and that's my proposal and it's in a it's 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 in a baby state yeah we are all adapting it and one fine day we would be able to uh, grasp it and have a much cleaner and a finer and a fitter world ahead Uh, a statutory warning for so much of statistics that are true. There's a favorite quote about statistics that I usually quote: "Statistics are like bikinis; they reveal more than what they hide, but ultimately they hide the naked truth." I'm not sure about how authentic these statistics are, but I see a world which is plunging in pollution. I see a world. where i am a contributor of the worst things that are happening around and maybe if we work on this we leave a future which is safe for the generations to follow thank you so much signing off dr bhavya gopani